This is part 42 of AngularJS tutorial. In this video, I will provide an introduction to UI Router, where to get UI Router module from and including it in an Angular application. So what is UI Router? The UI Router is a third-party routing framework for AngularJS. It provides everything that the ng-route module provides plus many additional features. These additional features are very useful for larger applications. We'll discuss these additional features with examples in our upcoming videos. UI Router implements routing based on the state of the application, whereas ng-route implements routing based on the route URL. This means with ng-route, views and routes are tied to the application URL, whereas with UI Router, views and routes are not tied to the application URL, which means parts of the site can be changed even if the URL does not change. If this does not make sense at the moment, don't worry, it will be clear in our upcoming videos in this series. Working with UI Router is similar to working with ng Route. Here, you see the CDN link for UI Router. At this link, you can find both minified and non-minified versions of the UI Router module file. So let's navigate to that URL. So we are on that page and here we have the non-minified version and here the minified version. Let's copy the CDN link of the non-minified version. Now, there are three simple steps to include UI Router in your Angular application. The first step is to reference the UI Router CDN link. The second step is to add UI.router as a module dependency. And the final step is to add UI view directive in the layout page, that is in our index.html page. Let's look at these steps in action. Let's flip to Visual Studio. So the first step is to reference the UI Router CDN link. So let's go to index.html, which is our layout page. At the moment, notice we are referencing Angular route file, you know, the ng route module. Instead of that, I am actually going to use the CDN link that we have just copied for the UI Router. That's our first step. The second step is to add UI.router as a module dependency. And we do that in our script.js file. So here at the moment, we have a module dependency on ng route module. Instead, now we are going to make use of UI router. So the module dependency is going to be on UI dot router. That's our second step. And the final step is to add UI view directive in our layout page, which is index.html. So at the moment on this page, we have ng view. This is the location where our partial templates will be injected. Instead of using ng view with UI router, we use UI view. So those are the three simple steps required to include UI router in our Angular application. In our next video, we'll discuss configuring states. Thank you for listening and have a great day.